Hey kids, do you ever wonder how computers understand what we want them to do? Today, I'm going to tell you all about the secret language of computers, binary code. Imagine you have a light switch. When you flip it up, the light turns on. When you flip it down, the light turns off. Easy, right? Computers work in a similar way using something called binary code, which is made up of zeros and ones. Think of zeros and ones like switches. A one means on and a zero means off. Just like that light switch. Binary code is the way computers talk and understand instructions. Cool, huh? Let's play a little game. Pretend you have a row of light switches in front of you. If you turn the first switch on, it's a one. If you leave it off, it's a zero. Now let's say you have eight switches. If you turn them all on, it looks like this. One hua mum one mum one. And if you turn some off and some on, it might look like this. Ten wa one now one swan ten. This is how computers use binary code to make sense of things. Let's dive a bit deeper. Each of those zeros and ones is called a bit, and eight bits together make a byte. Bytes are like little packages of information. One byte can tell a computer a letter, a number, or even a color. For example, the letter A in binary code is 010001. Isn't that amazing? It's like a secret message that only computers can read. By combining lots of these zeros and ones, computers can show us pictures, play games, and even help us do our homework. Here's a fun fact. Do you know that every video game, every cartoon, and every app you use is made up of millions of these little zeros and ones working together? It's like a giant puzzle where every piece is either a zero or a one. Now, let's do a quick recap. Binary code is the language of computers. It's made up of zeros and ones, just like switches being turned on and off. These zeros and ones are called bits. Eight bits make a byte, and bytes tell computers what to do. So next time you see a computer or play a video game, remember the secret language it's using behind the scenes. Binary code. Thanks for learning with me today. Keep being curious and who knows, maybe you'll be the one creating amazing computer programs one day. See you next time.